Hey guys, my name is Colin. This is Colin Talks Crypto. And I wanted to touch upon something that I don't think has enough attention in the EOS space. And I want to just bring this up for debate so that we can all be aware of this and we can all discuss this and solve it as need be. So one of the powerful features about EOS is its smart contracts. Now in EOS, you have the ability to do various levels of permissions with smart contracts. And that actually is a great thing, but also it could be a not so great thing as a, a hidden side effect. Now let's start with an example here, Equilibrium. This is a new platform that just came on my radar. It's eosdt.com. Essentially, and this is my very surface understanding, is it's like maker die tokens. It's a stable coin system that uses collateralized debt and it allows you to have a stable coin and a maker token equivalent, but it's running on the EOS blockchain. So this is essentially an EOS equivalent of the DAI token. Pretty awesome, right? However, what's controlling this smart contract? And so let's take a look at a new proposal. It's called Token Auction, that's the ID. It was proposed by EOS New York. Once again, EOS New York proposing great, great ideas. They're the ones who have just gotten the EOS user agreement put in place, which I think was a huge benefit to the community. And so it's actually a two-part proposal. And we're gonna talk about the first part of the proposal. The second part of the proposal is a voluntary, non-inflationary commons fund for EOS core development, similar to the EVB, the EOS voter bounties, but open to all participants, not just block producers. That's part two. And I think that is awesome in itself because it's opt-in, it's optional, and it opens up options for creating solutions on EOS and getting paid for creating those solutions. So that's part two. And now back to part one, which is what I'm going to tie into the just using this as an example, the Equilibrium platform and smart contract. So part one of EOS New York's proposal, and I'm going to read this paragraph to you. An EOS-based decentralized application, a DAP, may be operating on a blockchain, but may also have centralized owner permission control over the token smart contract. And that's the important thing here centralized owner permission control over the smart contract. And that's what's come to my attention here. It says a single key pair owner permission governing a token smart contract introduces security risks and attack vectors against the DAP the token contract supports. In order to reduce this threat, we propose that DAPs have the ability to deploy their token through the EOSIO.token, the system contract that issued the token, and that can only be affected by 15 of 21 token holder elected block producers. So essentially, EOS New York is proposing a system where it's opt-in and DAP producers can elect to have block producers be in control of that smart contract so that it no longer takes one DAP producer and one set of permissions to alter the smart contract. And I think by now you might be seeing how that ties into something like Equilibrium, where you have people collateralizing an enormous amount of EOS. And keep in mind, this has just gotten started. There's already 92,000 EOS going here. That's a lot of money. And if this goes and grows and grows, this could be hundreds of thousands or millions of EOS easily. And if you have one actor behind that smart contract able to change it at any point, there is a huge centralized point of risk right there. And again, I'm not picking on equilibrium. This applies to any smart contract out there. And I think this user summed it up really well. Remember that article by EOS New York about decentralizing contract ownership that nobody cared about? Nothing stops these guys, meaning the maker DAO guys, from taking all the collateralized EOS. And if I remember correctly, EOS New York said that of all the dApps out there and all the smart contracts, there were only like two of them that had account permissions that were more than just one set of keys. So basically every single dApp out there is under a centralized control. And that's what I think is alarming. A platform like Ethereum by default has every smart contract immutable. You cannot change it. 
And that's a good thing, except when it comes to something like the Dow debacle, where you have millions of ETH locked up and all the people at the adverse effect of this. So there's a good part and a bad part to having an immutable contract. And on EOS, we have the option to make contracts immutable, but not many people are using them. So it's just kind of a public announcement and awareness that these dApps are under centralized control right now. And so if we have the option to give the permission control to a multi-sig account with 15 of 21 block producers, then in the time of an emergency, we can have them do something about something like a DAO going wrong, where the user uh, funds get taken by an exploit, you know, and the Ricardian contract not performing as expected. But in every other case, the creator of that DAP smart contract wouldn't be able to just run off with user funds or do something else that the group does not appreciate. And right now we have every just about every DAP under centralized control on EOS. So this is that wake up announcement, guys. I think that this is such an important proposal to get put into place. So if you have a moment, please read this by EOS New York. It's titled Addressing EOS Token Smart Contracts and a Proposal for Core Development Funding on EOS. Again, it's a package proposal. I think both parts of it are amazing. And I have approved it. I voted for it with my proxy, Colin T. Crypto. And so again, if you vote for my proxy, I will continue to vote for things that I think are beneficial to the EOS ecosystem. And this is one of those majorly important things that I think we all need to be taking a look at so that we can have the same level of security as an immutable smart contract with the option of giving that additional control to 15 of 21 block producers or having a fully centralized smart contract. But just we want to make sure that we are aware of that and so that we don't get into a situation where we have something like Equilibrium or any other smart contract out there that has user funds involved. And actually, it's really under control by one key pair, by one dApp creator. And, you know, we're trusting that. And I just don't think that's as obvious as it needs to be. Okay, guys, thanks a bunch. Have a great day.